Hey guys, Brian from Woods Monkey here at the Virtual Vault Show at the LT Wright Shop. Thank you all for tuning in. We're going to have a great show. Really excited to show you all the good things we've got in store for you. Well, let's show them. Okay, here we go with the main table. Uh, a bunch of these right off the bat are the Frontier Trapper. Looks like 1 through 11, nope, 12. Uh, we have a variety of handle materials here, as you can see. Uh, they might all be A1. A2. That, or A2. Or I'm sorry, A2. Yeah, most likely. But those two were, so we'll go with that. Okay, numbers 13. Uh, we'll go over to what's, what's all the way over there. There's a bunch of these are the Frontier Firsts. With a variety of scale material. You can see some blues and oranges and reds and pythons. Some have liners. Yeah. Some like he's don't. making sure he can get the numbers in there for you guys. Some, right? have, some have cool file work. So you can that see was number all 26, the for instance. This is 29. 30 and 31 have a divider with similar, so the same scale material, colored pin, divider, liner. 32, black matte scales. Now 34 and 35, you can see the difference between a Frontier First, which you know is a smaller knife, and this little guy here. Those are mm, two finger knives. Very yeah. cool little thing. And Minis. stag. Stag. Awesome. Okay, up top the next one, we have number 36 through, through, the bunch, through 54. These are all Patriots. Again, a variety of scale material, probably steels. They all appear to be flat grind. That one's got some jimping on it. Yeah, that's got some power work. This, nice. Here's bone with colored uh, orange yeah. liners. Another bone with that colored Tiffany liners. That Tiffany blue's kind of interesting. This yeah. top one has, can you zoom in on that one for a second? Some nice Oh, work. nice vine. Uh, Nick did on that one, that's number 36. Number 49 through 54 are the rest of them. Again, a very cool selection of scale material. Oh, Got yeah, look at nice that. Nice bolster on that 54. Okay, 55 through 59. Prong horns. Again, a variety of scale material. Matte, polished, silver pins, liners. This one has blue liners. That's 58. Nice mix there. Uh, 60 through 62, this is the switchback in a couple different scales. Everything here has liners. Scandy ground. And number 63 is a one-off. That is a one-off, which is extremely comfortable. I would be yep. not surprised if that goes like ASAP. It's a very it's nice. An interesting knife. Very and nice it handle. feels great in the Saber hand. ground. <clears throat> okay, number... Uh, 64 and 65, 65, these are little mocks. Yeah, buddy. And both have liners. Yeah, both yeah. have two-tone green, yellow yep. liners. I like Dig it. Dig it. Camp mocks, 66 and 67. Ooh, look at the bolster there. This That's one antler. is an antler bolster, yep. Very nice. Black liner Black. divider pin, copper laner tube. Those who like the mocks. Number 68 through 71, small northern hunters. Bone, bone, bone with liners. And this is a very cool resin on this one, black liners. Uh, 72 through 75, these are Illuminous Fives, the big Scandi. Cool scale material, polished python, matte python. What's that, the blue, blue maple. rich light? Yeah, yeah blue maple. Okay, yeah. another python, very nice stuff. 76, 7, and 8, large northern hunters. Again, bone, bone, and bone. Nice liners. Look at that one with the natural, is that natural liner? Python. Oh, python liner. Oh, wait, Dig wait, it. wait, show that again. How cool is that? Can you see that? That, Dig that it. is cool. 79 and 80, two more large northern hunters. Those are both bone too, yeah. That one, that looks like the python liner also. Oh, green. Oh, green, okay, sorry. That looks, that's, that's natural, natural yeah. yeah. Man, but, that bone looks great on those knives. Very they nice. They look fantastic. All right, 81 on down through 86. These are bush babies. Hmm. Now, check out 81. This does not happen very often. Some metal, some copper in the racing stripe. 
very Get hard. Ironwood on each side. Very hard yeah. to make flat and nice. That came out exceptional. Kind of rare model. Mountain finish on that one. What's this again? This color? Uh, that's a tricolor rich lake. Yeah. Ah, there the, we go. Coffee colors, right? Yeah. yeah. Coffee, brown, and red. Orange pins, orange liners on that one. Natural liners. No liners. No liners. Okay. Next row, 87 on down through, oh, looks like 89. These are all bush crafters. Most are scandies, but not all. We have some really custom pieces mixed in here. Check this one out. This is number 90. That's a piece of that 3D uh, J. Hugh custom material, mountain finish. These two here, a swirl and mountain finish. I got to show you this. Nice file work on that one. Yeah, I think that's the dog bone pattern. And then that is a new pattern. We're going to call this. I don't know what he, Jagged Edge. Jagged I don't know. I don't, I don't know, know, but it's very cool. We'll looking. let Nick name it because he did it. Yeah, so. I like the look of it. Matte finish, green with orange. Oh, that's a uh, that's an HC. Oh, yep. Yeah. Okay, moving on <laughs> to 99 through 101. These are uh, Bush Mark II. Mark II. Yeah, yeah. Bush, Bushy Mark II's. Little custom action on the 99 up there. Number 102. Uh, 103 and 104, custom bush babies. A couple bolsters, some dyed bone. Check out the maple G10. Paper. I'm sorry, maple paper. Nice but it's funny on how that, that looks like dyed bone, though, doesn't it? A yeah. little bit. 105, 6, and 7, and on for a while here. These are going to be some custom GNSs with some dyed bone, black liners. Check out the mosaic pins. The desert ironwood. Or what I say, dyed, dyed bone. bone. I'm sorry, yeah. sorry. Desert ironwood. Got python on the bottom. Okay, up top here, 108. More custom GNSs. 109 has a bone bolster or a piece yeah. of antler that yeah. Nick did some customizing on. Sorry. Number, uh, what is this? 110. Uh, definitely has a piece of custom material for the bolster. Red and gray pins. Number 111 is a matte finish green, desert ironwood. Uh, these two are something a little bit different on the finish on them. Nick did that. I think we're going to call this pockmark. I can't read it. Yeah, I remember. That's like a modified dragon scale. Yeah, Some twist cool. and a mountain. Now these three at the bottom, <clears throat> 117, 18, 19, these are jet blanks yes with, with uh, and they some are different scale thinner. They're, they're 330 second blanks, I believe. Yeah, correct. Yeah. Full flat grind, very slicey, very sharp. Okay, up top next row, 120. Those on are the LTACs based on a GNS, so that's our tactical look. 530 seconds. All the way over to 131, these go. Yep. Now, these are all similar builds. Those two are a little bit different. Black liners on all those. Mm -hmm. They're a very, very cool nice. knife, man. I, I like those quite a bit. 130 and 131, slightly different. Uh, black micarta, brass hardware, orange liners. Okay, 132 down to 139. A few more next gens. And 132, you can see, has another set of the Grinch bolster. These pins we did in-house with Toxic Green to kind of match with the bolster. That came out pretty good. Mm -hmm. Dyed bone. With liners on those oh, two. Oh man, those are just absolutely. This is gorgeous. also dyed bone, but we jigged it in house. Uh, 136 has a bolster, toxic green on the divider, pins and liners. Bone on that one, black, blue, and dyed blue and pink hardware and liners. That's pretty Very tricky. Nice. That's number yeah. 139. Okay, up top next row, 140. And on down to, uh, looks well, like... Well, 140 and 140 through 142 are Gen 5s. Okay, yeah, oh, that's right. This is a little yeah. bit different. I'm sorry. Yeah, correct. Those top three Gen 5 Gen Scandi. 5 Scandies. If you've been looking for one, there's three. 143 on down through here. These are Genesis. Gandy Ground, those first four. Little custom work on this one. Custom file work. Some liners. That's 147. Thumb jimping on that one. Yeah. Now that looks like a, no, that's one eighth inch. Okay. Yeah. Uh, these, these few are 
Are we calling the clip yeah, point? The Genesis clip point, Genesis, Genesis, Just yeah. clip point, okay. Scandi on the bottom three. I love this one. I like that yellow. Oh, Terra the yellow tough. is so cool. Ah, yeah, the Terra Tough. I think it looks pretty good. And then look at that custom Gen 5 right there at the top. How cool. What's, Another good color combo. Yeah, that's 152. Natural on the pins and liners. Desert Iron Wood Bolster. Scandi, can't go wrong with that. 153, Big Larry. Yeah. Genesis. Late mountain finish. Yeah, yes, yes. Finish that's custom. The, uh, that's that, normally that, that doesn't happen often. So. Yeah, yeah, correct. That's pretty trick. 154 through 156. These are uh, Gen, Gen, three, Gen, Gen, Gen three. 3s. Yeah. Yep, the bigger one. Nice thick liners on that one. No liner, no liner. Okay. Yeah. Uh, 157. That's, that's a, a shorter version, yeah. Okay, but spear point, a little, little yeah. different. Double red, right, Michael? Mm -hmm. Gray right. liners, very cool. 158, custom scatty. The elusive scatty crafter. Might be uh, finding a home in Willie Pete's uh, yeah, you never know. pocket, yeah. who knows? That's custom. Yes, it 159. is. 159, that's a one-off. That's an interesting, good feeling knife, too. It is. I like, I like the thumb ramp on the front and the top there. You that's were always nice. partial to that. I do, I, I do yeah. like that. Okay, 160. That's custom. Check the mosaic That is pins. a Woodsman Pro. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. A little file work, a little thick liner. Throwback to the Woodsman Pro. Mav Scout. Mav Scout. Very nice. Excellent all-around knife. Ooh, 162, the La Fromage. Yeah. Custom cheese cutting knife. Very slick. 163 and four small powders. Technically part of our kitchen knives but can do double duty oh yeah ron the camp everything a lot knife. of people carry them as camp knives yeah yeah okay 150 or excuse me 165 down through 169 these are large powders right large yeah, powder yes, yeah okay. yes uh, a few different scale materials liners on that bottom one nice okay 170 and 171 two more custom la fromage cheese knives Check the bolster action. Oh, yeah. Those are nice. Very Real slick. Nice. 172, Traveler, double red. No Traveler, an, another Ridge unsung Light. hero. Redstone oh, Redstone Rich Light. Sorry. Redstone Rich Light. Okay, number uh, 173 and 4. These are our are, are camp kitchen. Not that. A uh, couple of different scale materials. Good standalone. Don't need liners. Very heavy duty. Nice and sharp. Okay, 175 and six, a couple of our machetes with the patina all the way out on the blade. Super nice, very handy at camp. What number, 177 and, and 178. Eight. All right, we have, two of our, kits. we have two of our kitchen sets. Comes the, with the board. Yeah, can you? That one's black and this one, the below is double red. Okay. No, redstone. Redstone, okay. So we have a black and a red zone set. So this is the whole shebang. Yep. Four and knives. That is the cool cutting board. The bag, the new cutting board. Yep. Very nice. Okay. I think this is hidden a little bit. There you go. One. Yeah. Some of the Paul Rogowski okay. Wild Harvest Collection. You're starting with uh, the slicing knife, which is an amazing piece of kit. I love that thing. The boning knife. I use that knife quite a bit at home also. Nice. Uh, followed by the oyster knife. Now, out here in Ohio, we don't have a lot of oyster shucking going on, but we do have some of these. We made these for Chef Paul. Yeah. Chef yeah. Paul has told Mike and I on the phone that these are the best shucking knives he's ever used. They have a generous handle. They are just fantastic, and his friends love these things. So we're really excited to, to release this. This is like one of the first times they've been seen publicly, so you guys are getting a, a really cool opportunity here. And then comes the whole kit with the roll-up. We Dig have it. the roll-up. Now, you can buy the roll just by itself. And then you have the turning knife, which is number 183. 184 is the boning knife. 185 is the chef knife. And 186 is the slicing knife. So there mm -hmm. is the complete kit with a roll. You can buy them each piece separate or all together. Then we're getting on to uh, some of the Les Stroud designed ideas that he wanted. And this yep. is the field knife. Oh, Man, yeah. I like that one. Knife. 
This oh, yeah. is a fantastic 530 seconds full flat ground A2. Awesome. It is beautiful. It's on my wish list. Oh, yeah. And then he loved our machete, but he wanted to change a few things to make it special. So he added a few things, and this is the Les Stroud Survivor Man machete. Dig it. And then this forging tool has to be the most unique looking piece of kit out there. It's, it's based on a Hori Hori design that we have upgraded, Americanized, and just kind of really made a digging tool, forging tool right here. And that is the Les Stroud forging tool. Number, so, number I'm sorry, number 191. Still nice and one. sharp, just oh, like yeah. everything else. Though. Yeah, it's still sharp. It's a great knife in its yep. own right. So. Now, don't forget when you call in, we do have some extras floating around. You can see we have JRE made strop bats, field strops, and the heavy duty one that can be in the shop. This is the one with the D ring. I like that one to chuck up in a vise and strop your blade. Or this, if I have room for it, usually car camp, and I take that one with me. These are the danglers. Has a D ring. So now you can make any sheath you have a dangler. This will snap on your belt and attach the D ring through the normal belt loop, and you have yourself a dangler. A couple Griffin tools. The big one, how about that, Mike? That's the XL. You probably got three of them, don't you? Yeah. I figured. And the original, $25 on that one. Now, these hats all, first of all, all come with a LTWK patch. This is the Wazoo Gear hat that has the pockets inside. The inside also has reflective piping on it to act as a signaling device. There are many little pockets in here. How many, LT? 13? Oh, uh, I don't know. Is six. It, it's my daily... Or six. Daily wear hat. <laughs> I have a shop version and a nice go-out shopping version. All right, so first we've got is uh, some awesome stuff from our friends at P&W Bushcraft. All handmade waxed canvas made in the great Pacific Northwest by our friends Todd and Heather. Just awesome stuff. Um, last forever, lifetime guarantee. Just... Just great stuff to have. And, and all right, 203 to 207. Those are our kerf carvers, but these are what we're calling the DIY knives. They come without handles, ready for you to wrap in whatever you want to wrap it in. Snake, uh, snake skin or paracord or jute wrap, whatever, whatever you want to put on there. Or nothing. You can carry them just as they are. 208 and 209 are kerf carvers in orange G10 which looks really great on those. It looks, uh, kind of reminds me of carrot sticks, but, um, and they come with Kydex. One is in black and one is in that orange uh, Realtree camo. 302 and 303 are Kerf Carvers again in yellow tarot tough, which just, look, just looks amazing on those. Nice bright colors. And for the, the Kerf Carvers in orange camo and the black and green, we do have multiples of those. so. Just to let you know, if, if you want to get a couple of those, we do, we do have multiples of those three. And those curved carvers are amazingly comfortable and work extremely well. Just a fantastic working little knife. So we've got uh, quite a selection of banana peels. 213 to 217 are 1 8 green micarta. And these are flat AEBL spear points. 218 to 222 is what I call Tiger G10. It's orange, black, and white striped G10. And those are in uh, Scandi clip points. That, that point on that Scandi is like a, it's like a needle almost. Those are great. 223 to 226 are banana peels. Uh, it's a flat drop point in orange G10, 1 8. 227 to 223, the ever popular Python, and those are uh, Scandi drop point. 232 to 235 are green micarta 3 8 with a, a Scandi spear point on those. Nice, it's a nice hand filling, woodworking blade. Those are A2. Now, one of the nice things about the banana peel is they're modular, meaning you can switch the handles out and the scale, or I'm sorry, and the blades. And there are a few different blade steels. Correct. So, and, and blade designs. Absolutely. The next one I like to think of looks like a little bit like Impala. Yeah. Impala horn. 
Um, that's actually black paper micarta in a twist pattern, and those are uh, flat clip points. Again, nice sharp point needle point on those. These have a little little something on the back here, 241 to 245. That's a that's an M for. Oh, Magna Cut. Magna Cut. Right on. And so those, you have a handful of Magna Cut knives. Yes, sir. And those are uh, one eighth red micarta. Now, 246, 247, and 248 are a little bit different. These are some knives we've made up, banana peels we've made up with the optional neck sheath already on there. You can order that. You can order the neck sheath on any of the knives that we have, uh, but these are already made up with them on there. So when you call, if you want a neck sheath, just let the person you know you, that you talk to on the phone say, hey, I'd like to get a neck sheath for my banana peel, and we'll hook you up. So 249 to 253 are carbon fiber Kydex, nice thin and light, and those are in our razor blade blade pattern. Which is such an interestingly used, usable blade. You guys want a box opener to carry every day? That is the one. Super thin, super light, and cuts like a razor. And it just looks cool. And it looks cool. <laughs> <laughs> 254 to 258 are... Cryptek Kydex, again, and that's a flat drop point on those. 259 to 263, that's two-tone green micarta in a 3.8. Those are Scandi. 264 to 268, those are one of the knives that uh, our friends down at Bonds Creek put together for us. That's the saber tooth. It's an ABL uh, coated blade. Comes... Without scales, again, if you want to leave it as is, if you want to wrap it, when you want to put some scales on there, it also comes with a Kydex sheath included. Ah, the titanium saw. The titanium saw from Rodigan Expedition Works. Um, this is somebody we met down at Georgia Bushcraft this, this fall. Just does phenomenal work. We've got some other items from him here as well, but that's... That's a, just an amazing saw. Folds up, weighs nothing. Folds up and goes in that bag. And that is number 292. I own one of them. They are, uh, you, you will love that. If you have a saw in your Jeep or your truck or something, this is the one you want, no doubt. Easily replaceable blades. He's also got a bone saw for it. So 269 and 270 are, again, uh, BEW stuff. And those are their J-hooks or G-hooks, I'm sorry, G-hooks. Those are for uh, straps or... Uh, I'm actually planning on using those on my hammock suspension. Yep, hammock slings. I have, I have a set that I'm planning on this season, using them as my suspension. Swap them out on, on anything that you have. Um, 272 to 279 are a collection of titanium sporks Long and spoons. Long handle, look at that. And they weigh literally nothing. I love nice, those things. Nice long handle, so when you're making your freeze-dried meal at camp. You don't get uh, food on yourself. And, and the color is awesome. Bottom. Yep. 272 is actually his trivet. These are made for a, a wood stove. So you set this on top of the wood stove. You put your pot or some water or whatever it is on top of that, and you're able to heat your water on top of the wood stove. 280 is, is uh, his snare um, for, again, pots over the stove or uh, cups or anything now actually like using that. a snare right as a trap you snare. could use it as a snare as but well. it, it makes a good um oh, i can't think of the name not snare for what's the word i'm looking for mikey <laughs> <laughs> i can't think of what you call when you turn it into a pot hanger a pot hanger yeah okay we'll call it pot <laughs> hanger that's not the word though it'll come to me as soon as we're done <laughs> 282 to 291 are a collection of our monkey boards these are uh, you guys have seen these before these are the boards that you can put in your bag, on your bag, uh, Molly compatible. Uh, you can put anything you want on there. Uh, just, a, just a great way to organize your gear. And the grail. Oh, if you're looking for your grail, That's we've it. got it. We have it. I do own one. We travel with this, whether we're camping or just traveling, even in the hotels. We carry a grail, my wife and I, and we filter all the water that we drink, no matter where we're at, airports, whether your hotels, just a new city you're in, or Airbnbs when we're staying out of town or something. 
take grails. This is an investment. I absolutely love it. It's worth getting, guys. And we have a nice collection here. Yep. They're awesome. They're an awesome company. Um, folks we talk to again down in Georgia, Bushcraft, and, and just like everything yep. they do, like the products, like the people. It's just, just a great product. With Woods Monkey, we really hope to bring some interesting products to you, and that being the titanium soles to the sporks, to all the knives and the, the canvas goods that we have from PNW and the grails, yeah. Thank you guys for the support, and we're hoping that you like our Woods Monkey project products as much as we do. Cool.